another Dreadlocks question and answer video where I answer the questions left to me by you guys. I try to answer them as best I can. The first question that I have in front of me this week is from Spencer Brown. Spencer Brown asks, Will blow drying cause elastic bands to break? I've noticed an influx of a breakage since starting to blow dry. I can't say that I have any experience with this myself because I've never put elastic bands in my own dreadlocks. I don't really recommend using elastic bands. I've seen people with elastic bands at the root to the tips, even roots, tips, and middle of the dreads. And I don't think it really helps the dreadlocks along all that much because you're holding the hair in place rather than letting it move and form knots, kind of like making lots of little ponytails. They will eventually lock up between the elastic bands, but I don't think the elastic bands are really helping the process along, so I don't recommend them myself. There are also downsides in that the elastic bands can form weak spots underneath them, the elastic bands can get loose hair knot over the top, and then you have to cut them out to actually get them back out again. And also if the elastic bands are like rubbery rubber bands, the band can rub against neighbor dreads and form weak spots in the neighbor dreads. I just don't recommend putting elastic bands in. Tenniel Dreams asks, question, smiley face. Please help me. Will my dreads stop sticking together like Velcro when they mature more? I've had them for two weeks, twist and rip, and the roots are all quite loose, so they get joined by the loose hair. Not so happy face. I have to pull them apart every day. Will this stop? Dreadlocks are formed by hairs that knot together, and unfortunately these hairs, you know, they don't think. They just knot with whatever is near to them. So sometimes they knot with hairs that are within the right section, and that's what you want. You want hairs within the section all to knot together, but sometimes they just knot to the hairs that are next to the section because again they don't realize their hair and so you have to separate and pull them apart as the dreadlocks get older they get tougher these are not soft and fluffy like young dreadlocks they're just not gonna stick together and so as the dreadlocks get older you won't have to separate anything like as often it's quite common to have to separate new dreadlocks pretty much every day you get out of bed in the morning and they've all started to get stuck together especially at the back and so it's common to have to separate them every day but as the dreadlocks get older and older you will find that you don't have to do it anything like as often and as they do get older you will find that only separating right at the root level they won't start to stick together or anything like as much along the body of the dreads just every Every now and again you'll have to do the roots but it is something that you have to deal with when the dreadlocks are young you do have to keep separating as required when the dreadlocks are new if you want to stop them from fusing together and congoing. Garrett Smith asks question my dreads are 10 months old and at a few points weaker in the middle of the dreads it's like a folding point what do I do this used to be a very common question if you've seen any of my original Q&A videos the ones I did a long time ago this was getting asked almost every week when you start your dreadlocks you're doing just that you're starting them if you back comb or you twist and rip all you're doing is using those methods to hold the dreadlocks in the sections they will get looser but that is fine because you're not making the dreadlocks with the back comb you're not making the dreadlocks with the twist and rip, you're just using those to hold the hairs in the sections. So they will get looser, sometimes at the roots, sometimes at the tips, sometimes in the middle, as long as they are held together, as long as they're knotted together at some point along the length, they will tighten up and even out. You just have to just wait for that to happen, as with a lot of things with dreadlocks. I know that when I was answering this question, when it was asked a long time ago, many times, by the time I actually came out to answer it, most of the loose points had actually knotted up by that point. Anyway, so it's not something you need to worry about. Death Theme 13 asks, question, how wet slash damp is too wet slash damp to leave your dreads after washing? I'm never completely sure if I've dried them enough. Ah, uh, you can never dry dreadlocks enough. I find that there's sort of two stages of wetness with dreadlocks. There's the immediately out the shower dripping wet and then there's the sort of still damp phase that you get after you've done all your drying. So when you get out the shower you do your towel drying, your shaking, your blow drying, whatever it is you're going to do and you can only dry them to a certain point. It depends how thick your dreadlocks are. If they're thin you're going to be able to get them drier. If they're super thick you're going to find it more difficult. But I do my towel drying and my blow drying and I get them to a point where it's kind of like I could blow dry for another hour and they would not really get that much drier because it's just wet in the middle. So all you can really do is dry them as best as you can in your situation. As long as you're not planning to get straight into bed with them, it's not such a huge problem. As long as they're still sort of hanging loose, they're gonna air dry through the rest of the day. You end up in problems if they're still damp and you go and lay down so they're kind of compressed and stuck under your head or in a hat or tied up tight where they're just going to remain damp and not be able to dry further. But provided you've dried them as best as you can and they're not still dripping wet, you just have to wait for them to finish doing their drying during the rest of the day. Les Betts asks a question, I have naturally oily hair. What product can be used in a spray to dry my knots out and not cause them to be soft? 
sea salt solution didn't work. I would suggest sea salt solution, but you've said sea salt solution doesn't work. Sea salt solution is for making the dry kind of drier and more coarse. It doesn't remove the oil so much. If you're having oil problems, I would try a different soap, different shampoo. Find one that leaves your scalp a little drier. Some shampoos can be sort of oily and some can be too drying. You have to find the one that's the best balance between the two. The salt is not going to soak up any of the oil on your scalp. And if you try to use the salt to do that, you're probably going to end up with scalp irritation. I don't really have anything that I would recommend to try and use to soak up the oils, the excess oils. Dry shampoos do that, but that would not really be something that you'd want to be using as a fix. You wouldn't want to keep putting dry shampoo on there just to soak up the oils. You just want to find a different soap, different shampoo, and get into a rhythm with it so you use it at exact intervals. So your scalp gets used to it, but you want one that is best balanced for your hair and scalp, which is not necessarily going to be the same as what is best balanced for my hair and scalp, your friend's hair and scalp, because you know, you go in a supermarket, they sell more than one type of shampoo because different people have different needs. Those are my questions for this week. If you have a question that you would like me to answer in a Dreadlocks Q&A video, you can leave it down in the comment section below. Please write a question at the start of your comment. It will join the queue. Or you can join the Lazy Dreads Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash lazy dreads where I ask, do you have any Q&A questions? And whichever question gets the most likes will also make it into the next Q&A video. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, useful, informative, fun, entertaining, things like that, you can click the like button so I know you liked it. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, you can of course subscribe and then it'll be sent to your subscription feeds. If you're looking for Dreadlocks tips, help, advice, guides, tutorials, questions being answered, videos including this one. You can find all my stuff on lazydreads.com. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Farewell!